Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have announced that they are returning to the UK next month to attend several charity events close to their hearts. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will also travel to Germany to mark a year until the Invictus Games arrive in Dusseldorf. However, Charlotte Griffiths, the Mail on Sunday's editor-at-large, told Mail Plus Palace Confidential that the announcement of their tour was made to avoid the embarrassment of empty crowds at the events. She claimed that the Duke and Duchess will likely have a Netflix crew with them filming for a documentary, and the former working royals want to avoid embarrassing moments in front of the cameras. Moors Griffiths said, I think they released these dates in advance because they want to give a chance for crowds to gather. Because, if they do have a Netflix crew with them, imagine how embarrassing it would be if there were just three people there waving. They want us to get all excited and talk about it. They want it to look like a royal tour. Sarah Vine echoed Moose Griffith's remarks, calling the trip a royal tour in all but name. The male columnist claimed the couple were having their cake and eating it by picking pick and choose their quasi-royal duties. Duncan Larkham, a biographer of Harry, said the visit is a calculated provocation on their part. He told the Daily Beast, to the casual observer, especially overseas and even more especially in America, this will look like Harry and Meghan are back doing royal jobs, especially given that one of the gigs Harry is doing is the Well Child Awards for Sick Children, which he always used to do when he actually was a working royal. It will be incredibly high profile. They will be all over the media, and you won't be able to put a cigarette paper between what Harry and Meghan are doing and what Will and Kate are doing. Thank you.